Hey, what's up, YouTube? Poochie1877 here with another tutorial for you. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a watermark for your videos. Uh, the program I'm going to be using is Adobe Fireworks CS3. I'll be uploading it to Meteorfire, so you just go ahead and download it. Uh, double click the EXE, and the program will run. There's no install required. Alright, so let's get started. First off, click on File and New. And these are the recommended settings uh, 480 by 272, the width 480 and the height 272. I don't think these are default, I think this is just what I set myself. And the resolution to uh, pixel inch resolution to 72, and the converse color transparent. This is all what I recommend here. Alright, so just hit OK and you'll get this background to work with. You can enter text directly onto that or you can use a background which I'm gonna do. It's a background shape so just click on here. You get a drop down window here with a number of shapes to use. I'm just gonna use the rounded rectangle here and just make the shape like this. All right, center it up. You can change the color. You can have it a solid color you want so you can change the color here to solid if you want but I'm just going to use one of the presets here all right so let's just choose one here uh, I'll show you a couple different ones you can experiment obviously you don't have to follow me exactly choose whatever shape whatever color you know whatever suits you best I think I'm just going to go with a uh, Glossy black. Yeah, it's a glossy black. It should be fine. Alright, so once you have your background uh, selected and your color selected, everything all sorted out and how you like it, let's click the A button here. This is the entering the text. You can change the font style, the text size, and the text color here if you want. These are solid colors, but once again, for the text, I'm going to be using one of the preset colors here. Alright, so just click on there enter, and enter your text. I'm going to be entering my YouTube username, I guess. Alright, just like that. I'll grab the selection tool and center it up. Like so. And now I'll be choosing a color for my text. Uh, but we'll just use this glossy white here. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, you can see uh, it's all kind of smudged and blurry there, so I'm going to uh, use just a black outline. So yeah, this is just the basics on how the program works. Don't you don't need to follow me exactly. I know I've said that a couple times, but you know, customize your watermark, make it your own. So you can be pretty much done just like this. I mean, it's so simple, so easy. Or you can play with the transparency levels of both the text and the background. I'm going to play with the transparency level of the background. Just click down here for the transparency. I'm going to make it about 75. Uh, 80. Yeah, 80 is pretty good. So yeah, I'm pretty much done just like that. Uh, click on file to save it. Just click save, name it. I'm just gonna leave it the default name. Save. I'll save to my desktop or wherever you set it to be saved to. And there's my finished product. It's very simple. You can add it to your videos in Camtasia, and Sony Vegas, or any other video program, video editing program that allows you to add watermarks. So there you have it, guys. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. So I wasn't able to go too in depth with it. I'm kind of pressed for time right now. So uh, hopefully I can put up another video here soon. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.